Good morning, madame. Were you meowing last night? You were, weren't you? Have a nice day. Can you hear those birds? Good morning, birdies. <laughs> and good morning to you. Hello, hello. It is 5.45 a.m., 5.50 a.m. at this point, and I am walking to catch my train into London for the day. I have a very busy day, kick starting with a 7 a.m. Bowie's boot camp class. I'm meeting some of the girls that came on my Montenegro trip that I just came back from. I just led a group hiking trip in Montenegro. And yeah, some of the girls from that trip live in London. I told them I'm going to Bowie's on Thursday. Do you want to join me? So we're going to meet them there for the class. And then it's a busy day after that, so I'll just take you with me. But for now, let's catch the train. <laughs> Hi. You're cute. Here we go. And this is Barry's. The class is about to start in a few minutes and basically you spend half your time on the floor doing weights on these little benches and half your time doing brutal treadmill inclines and sprints. Let's do this. I got myself a little post-workout smoothie and look at how cute this is. They put hashtag girl gains. What a throwback. Love that. Thanks, Barry's. So first off of the day is with this guy, Rob. Hello, hello. Hiya. Look at him, what a natural on camera. So Rob is the founder of First Wealth and he is also the co-founder of a new business which I'm so excited to tell you guys about. I have explained it on my Instagram but I haven't shared it here on YouTube yet so stay tuned. We have back to back meetings all morning but once we've got through those I will share with you what's going on because it's very very exciting. But for now just a little coffee meeting in the most dreamy setting. This is very nice, very bougie, lovely sunny weather. London feels glorious today. Rob's hardcore, he's on the Americano. Obviously, I've got an oat milk latte with my flav drops. And they gave us cookies. We love to see it, 9 a.m. cookies. So this is where we start to really get into the kind of investments and pension planning stage of it all. Then we move into kind of how do you line up your investments to your values and your beliefs. Can you tell that Rob's passionate about this? <laughs> I know, I know it, it's great. <laughs> meeting number one done with the Thrive Money PR wizard and then meeting number two is about to start in seven minutes time. It's all happening on Zoom today. That is the one thing. Oh, hello. Stay well to him, sale. That is the one thing from COVID that I feel like has really stuck around. Zoom meetings are life. So hop on to the next one. We will. We can't do anything. This is what I'm just real. We, we can't do, as Anna was right on me, we can't do anything with anyone else yet. We have just finished up our morning meetings and they all went super well and I thought I could quickly pop on and just let you guys know like a little overview about my new business which I'm so excited about. I'm also so terrified, like so out of my comfort zone, probably the most scared I've been of anything I've ever done in my career ever about this but I'm also really 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 passionate about what we're trying to do with it so I'm just trying to feel the fear do it anyway, push through and build something that I'm proud of. So the new business is called Thrive Money. Thrive Money, so yes, it's all about finance, all about financial education, accessible financial education from highly qualified experts. And that is what we're all about. If you follow me on Instagram for a few years, you will know that I have been partnering up with the guys at First Wealth and we've been hosting financial education webinars and events, producing free social media content related to financial education for four years, three or four years now, literally over four years, because I got one of those on this day four years ago, reminders on Instagram the other day of my first ever financial post. So over four years, this is something which there's a huge gap in the market and nobody's really doing this. And there's such a lack of accessible financial education out in the world. And I just realized that this is something which is so important, so needed, so necessary. And there's just not enough of that out there. There are so many barriers between us, just regular lay people and this expert financial education information and guidance and I wanted to break down those barriers and create something which made it so much more accessible. So I've teamed up with the guys at First Wealth and we have created a brand new business called Thrive Money. And our purpose is to help people achieve financial well-being. Our purpose is to help people 
get to grips with, understand and take control of their money to make their money work for them and to help relieve some of that stress and weight and anxiety about money that hangs over so many of our heads every single day. So yes, right now we are kickstarting with our Instagram, which has free financial education information, as well as webinar events and in-person events. And then in October this year, hopefully October this year, potentially later, potentially earlier, it all depends on how the development goes. It's a big situation because there's tech to be developed. We are going to be releasing, I haven't said this anywhere else yet, we're going to be releasing online financial education courses. So literally courses that you can take which will teach you all of the financial fundamentals, foundations and basics so that you can take control of your money and feel empowered about your finances. So I'm really, really, really excited. We have so much work to do right now. As I said, our social media is live. We have a website being built. We are hosting our first in-person event. But then yes, down the line, you wanna work on building literal courses which teach you everything that you were never taught at school all video-based courses, all super digestible information from financial experts and professionals. And it's a big project. It's a big, 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 stressful, terrifying project, but I'm really passionate about it. And I really think it literally, literally has the ability to change people's lives. And that's the goal. So we're working on that. Right now our focus is getting all the information ready to film because we're filming the first course next month and also to get ready for our first event, our first in-person event, because we've done a couple of webinars, our first in-person event, which is in a couple of weeks. So that's what we're working on right now. So if you want to follow along and see what we get up to and get lots of financial information, knowledge and nuggets, then I will leave a link down below, not only to our social media, but to our website. If you pop your email in, on our website, you'll get sent out a bi-weekly newsletter, which is full of lots of financial information and tips from qualified experts. And you'll also get early access to anything else we release in the future, for example, courses. So that is what I've been working on, guys. It's huge. It's a big deal. Big, big, big deal. Lots of work for everybody involved. But I just think I'm so passionate about what it has the capacity and potential to do. So bring it on and now i am gonna pack up my bag i'm gonna hit the road i've got a phone call in 10 minutes and i'm gonna take that phone call while i'm walking to my little lunch meeting that i've got i've got a phone call with eventbrite who are the people that we sell our event tickets through so i've got a call with them to see if we can partner together in some way so i'll take that call as i walk to carnaby street i'm gonna meet a friend for some lunch online events are probably going to be a little bit more affordable than in-person events it varies depending on the subject of the webinar yeah, made it to the good egg and look at this vision of summer. Hey! <laughs> Emily's here in pink, looking amazing. And you saw Harry Styles last night. I saw Harry Styles, he's incredible. If you're going, please buy a pair of the boa. Oh, this looks delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> so I've got a lemonade, pita, hummus, I've got a diet coke, I've also ordered an iced coffee. Bam. We have my favorite 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 lunch in this part of town we have an aubergine pitta with like pickled cucumber onion sauce a little bit of hummus left over emily got the same you excited i mean i just can't wait me neither this is bad this is anna's box oh i see how it is <laughs> guys look at this look at this look <laughs> They're very hard to eat. <laughs> They're saying it's not, it's not the first day dish. No. This gets everywhere. Yeah, but it is delicious. Look who's welcomed me home. Hello. Oh, are you a happy girl? Are you a happy girl? Oh my goodness, this weather. How am I meant to be productive? when it's this hot, it's 28 degrees Celsius, which in the UK is bloody sculpting. I got home like two minutes ago and I have one hour and 55 minutes until a phone interview, which is at 5 p.m. So basically it's five past three. I've got a phone interview at 5 p.m. So in that two hour window, I have a lot to achieve. And I don't know if I'm gonna achieve it all, but I'm gonna try. I need to pack for Snowdonia because tomorrow 
I head to Snowdonia, I am hosting a 10 peak charity hiking challenge with a hundred people, a hundred of you guys. So hosting that from tomorrow. So I need to pack for that little weekend adventure, 10 peaks in one day. It's gonna be a good challenge and the weather looks absolutely appalling. So it's gonna be a very, very British weekend in the mountains. And then yeah, I have to do all of my emails and all of my admin and stuff. So it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze, but I'm gonna try. If I don't get it all done today, I can do it tomorrow. Basically, I'm gonna have dinner tonight, so I can't really work into the evening like I usually do. So I will just try and cram in as much as I can. And I'm gonna pull the bifold doors as wide as I possibly can and just get lots of fresh air into the house. And honestly, guys, I know we've lived in this house for coming up on two years now, but I still feel overwhelming waves of gratitude that this is our home. I still can't quite believe it, like I just love it so much, especially this garden. After spending years and years and years living in flats without gardens, it just feels amazing. <laughs> so amazing to have our own outdoor space. I'm just so, so, so grateful for it. I am also slightly annoyed at myself for filling my whole summer with um, <laughs> group hiking trips, but I'm obviously I'm gonna absolutely love hosting my group hiking trips, but basically my whole June and July I'm hosting group hiking trips, which means I'm not gonna be in the UK for all of this amazing weather. But I am around quite a bit in August, so hopefully this weather lasts all the way through the summer because right now I just wanna be in England. It just feels amazing to be here. England in summer is such a vibe. I think because we don't get much sunshine here, everyone is just in the best mood, like the best mood. Everybody's so happy, so excited. There's just so much good energy going around and I just love being here. Oh, plane. Where are you going? Safe travels. This is the one thing about living in Surrey. Surrey has like Gatwick and Heathrow, two of the biggest airports in the UK, if not the biggest airports in the UK. So there's always lots of planes going over. Anyway, I just feel like the energy is so good in the UK when the weather is like this. So I'm really, really excited for this summer. I'm really, really excited to get people in this garden, to be enjoying the warm, balmy summer evenings in the garden. Like, wow. I'm so grateful that we get to do that. So anyway, ramble over. I'm spending lots of time talking and I need to be working. So let's go inside. Oh. Okay, it's 40 minutes until my phone call. I've got my Ben and Jerry's out because this weather just calls for Ben and Jerry's, you know? Mm, mm, mm. And yeah, I'm gonna try and smash out all my emails, all my bits, all my bobs. Between now and 5 p.m. Let's do this. Hello. And if we can empower people with tools and information to take control of their finances, we can help to lift that cloud off them and give them financial clarity and empowerment and feeling like they're in control of their money, having financial autonomy, which I think is actually gonna be beneficial for their mental and physical health. One of the things that I'm really passionate about is giving women financial education and information because there's definitely a huge difference in the messaging around finances for men and for women. And I think so many women feel disempowered when it comes to their finances. Have you? <laughs> I'm really excited to see the piece. You're so welcome. Have a good time in the sunshine. Bye, bye, bye. So I just got off my phone interview. It was with a newspaper all about Thrive Money and the interviewer was so lovely. So just a really, really nice conversation. Anyway, I need to go upstairs. I need to get changed, I need to get ready and ready to rumble for dinner tonight because we are heading to meet some friends. We're gonna go to a place called Akasa, which is an amazing Italian in Surrey. If you're from Surrey, go to Akasa. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but once you get in there, the food, the food, so good, so much flavor. You know it's a good Italian when like just their arrabbiata pasta is incredible. Oh, God, I'm excited. I am excited. So this is my outfit tonight. I've got a little orange wrap dress, which is from a brand called Omnes. They're like a ethical and sustainable brand and they do lots of cute little dresses. So I've got this little bright orange one on. My belt is very, very old. I'm thinking four or five years old from a company called Marge, M-A-J-E. And then I've got my YSL bag and my Under the Story sandals. I feel like that little, you know, salsa emoji with the swishy dress. That's me. 
and this is my date tonight. Oh, you're not in very good light, are you? Let's go outside, you can show them how hot you look. Here he is, the man of the moment. Oh yeah, Vogue. Why, why little... am I the man of the moment? Because you're my man. Ah, okay, fine. Yeah. You excited for dinner? I'm hungry for dinner. We're gonna carb up, babe. Yeah, what else is there? Carbs and... Carbs and carbs. Carbs and carbs. Great, sign me up. Sounds like we're having carbs. Oi! The only problem with Barcelona is when you smash them, yeah. all the streets look the same. So you are pulling up a tree, aren't you? So, we sat down at dinner, we chatted away, and next thing you know, blinked and it was 10.30pm. We were there for like three hours just mm. chatting. They're just such a great couple, Tess and Adam. Such a great conversation. Oh, Such a nice evening. We got to really see Orlando. It. And we got to see Orlando, the little baby. And um, <laughs> Bella is having a real purr down here. Was it just such a nice evening? It was really good and the food was great. The food was great, the company was great, the chat was great. Yeah. All great, so we're happy. And we're going to go to sleep now. And we're back with Bella. And we're back with Bella now. And we're going to go to bed. And we're going to... We're going to get some sleep, aren't we, Bella Boo? Come on then. All right, good night. <laughs> Ants off. You go you go play with Bella because that's what he really wants to do. You just fart. That's what he really wants to do. We really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. It's been a long old day, up since 5.20 and home at almost 11 p.m. So yeah, so it has been a whirlwind of a day, but a lovely day indeed. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe. Please leave a comment. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye. <laughs>